everyone, I'm Danielle Claffey with Cook Baxter Immigration here in Atlanta and today I'm going to talk about some recent developments from USCIS uh, with respect to unlawful presence and how it now applies to those who are either currently in F or J1 status or who have ever been in F1 or J1 status. So whether, as, as I said, it's right now or somebody's held that status at any point during their immigration history here in the U.S. Now what this new guideline, this new memo means that was just released a few months ago but only went into effect as of August 9, 2018, is that before this memo went into effect, anyone who was on F1 or J1 status in their um, in, on their I-94 cards or on their I-20, the expiration date for their presence in the United States always said duration of status, D slash S. And so what that meant was they were remained in status so long as they were in, actively enrolled and so on. There was never a specific end date to their status. Well, USCIS has now said that that's going to change and has changed as of August 9th. So what the new rule says is anybody who falls out of status on or after August 9th of 2018 will begin accruing unlawful presence if you're either in F or J status, unlike before. Where that also applies though is if somebody, as I said, ever held that status before August 9th, then we have to determine whether and when that person started accumulating unlawful presence. And there's a couple of different ways. Either they still only started accumulating as of August the 9th, or they could have started accumulating unlawful presence in the past if some certain condition was met, such as they filed a change of status application that was denied. So if they tried to change their status, let's say from a J to an F, and it was denied, then there was a formal finding, and that's what starts the unlawful presence. The other circumstance also is if there's a formal finding by an immigration judge. So if somebody held F or J1 status, were put into proceedings, were order removed, or there was a final decision made by the judge that they did violate the terms of their status, then that date, whatever that was, again, is what starts that unlawful presence. So this, this will have a significant impact for all of those types of non-immigrant visas. Uh, so it would be very important to check with an attorney and find out what your particular circumstances are. So feel free to ask questions on this post or give us a call here at the firm or send me an email and I'll answer your questions. Thank you.